Hey guys, let's start provisioning our GCP infrastructure from this lecture. We will create a new project, then we'll create a new VPC with two subnets, and we'll finish off the lecture by creating some firewall rules that allow access from outside world into our environment. So let's get started. Here, I'm in the administrative console. To create a new project, I will select the drop down next to the project name, and then I'll click on create project. Here, I will name my new project. I want to name it Elasticsearch Demo. Then I'll click on Create. Now, you'll see a little bell icon on top right that starts revolving. This means that GCP is doing whatever is necessary to set up the project at the back end. Once it's done, you'll see a green tick box that says this task has finished. Once you get that, you can click on it to go to the home page of the newly created project. Here, from top left, select the navigation menu and then go to VPC network. Now you might have to search for it a bit down under the header networking. If you have to do that, make sure you click on the little pin icon here so that it is moved to the favorites area up near the home button. Now, once you do that, click on VPC Networks inside VPC Network. And you might get a notification saying Compute Engine is getting ready. What this means is that GCP is setting up whatever necessary APIs that you need for this project in the back. We'll just have to wait for it to complete doing that. Once the Compute Engine API is ready, you'll see that you already have a VPC network called default setup for you. We will not use this VPC network, so we'll have to create a new VPC network. So click on Create VPC Network from here. And let's name our VPC network. I want to call it Elasticsearch-VPC. Now, under subnets, Make sure that the subnet creation mode is set up as custom. And under new subnet, let's create our first subnet. Let's call it monitoring. For region, let's choose US West 1. Because in my experience, this is generally the cheapest region. Under IP address range, let's type in 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And then click on done. And then click on add subnet to create the second subnet for name let's type in web servers region again we'll just choose us west one and ip address range would be 192.168.2.0 slash 24 we'll click on done and then click on create this will create our VPC network. Now, once this network is created, we'll go to default and delete this VPC network. So, now you can see that the v default VPC network has been deleted and we have created our VPC network called Elasticsearch-VPC. So if we just look at the status, we'll see that GCP at the back is still finishing the creation of new network and it's also deleting the default network. Once you get the green tick box, you'll see both subnets, monitoring and web servers with both IP address ranges 192.168.1.0 and 2.0. Then you can move on to firewall rules to set up our firewall rules. Here we'll click on create firewall rule to create the first firewall rule. And in this one, let's allow SSH access into the environment. So allow SSH. Network, we have to make sure we select Elasticsearch VPC. Under Targets, we'll need to choose all instances in the network. And then under source filter, make sure IP address, IP ranges is selected. 
and then under source ranges type in 0 .0 .0 .0 0. Now under protocols and ports choose specified protocols and ports and then select TCP and type in 22 and then click on create to create our first firewall rules. Next click on the create firewall rule button again this time we will allow HTTP and ICMP access for our web servers. So let's call it allow HTTP dash ICMP. Now select the network for Elasticsearch VPC and under targets we'll need to keep the specified target tags and here under target tags let's type in web servers and under source filter we'll type in the range 0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0. now under protocols and ports we'll need to keep the specified protocols and ports selected then select TCP and then type in 80 for HTTP access and then choose other protocols and type in ICMP to allow ICMP access from anywhere outside now once this is created we can click on create firewall rule again to create the third firewall rule so let's name this one allow ELK and this time we will allow access to the Kibana URI. So under network, let's choose Elasticsearch VPC. Or actually, let's just name it Allow Kibana. Now, under targets, say specified target tags, and under target tags, let's choose Kibana. Now under IP ranges, type in 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0 and under protocols and ports, let's select the specified protocols and ports, select TCP and then type in 5601 and then click on create. Now click on create firewall rule again to create the fourth firewall rule. This will allow unrestricted access for internal communication. So this time we'll call it allow internal. Choose the network as Elasticsearch VPC. Under targets, change it to all instances in the network. Under source filter, select IP ranges and then 192.168.1.0 slash 24 comma and then type in the next IP range 192.168.2.0 slash 24 which is our second subnet now under protocols and ports select allow all and then click on create Now this way we have created four firewall rules, one to allow unrestricted access for internal communication, the second rule to allow HTTP and ICMP ports for web servers from anywhere outside the environment. The third rule allows access to Kibana port 5601 from anywhere outside the environment and the target is the servers with tag Kibana and then the fourth rule allows SSH access from anywhere outside the environment. This rule seems a bit risky but will further restrict access to our environment using SSH keys. So with this we have come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.